all of you. Uh, we are gathered here uh, for this lecture series on trends in technological advancement. And today, this is the third session in this lecture series. And today, I'm going to invite uh, Mr. Professor Chandrakan Bhatia, sir. Uh, he's assistant professor in GIT, right? And uh, so uh, today, he's going to deliver a session on concepts of lean in modern manufacturing and service industries. Uh, let us start with a brief introduction about Professor Chandrakant Bhatia, sir. Sir is working as an assistant professor in mechanical engineering department, Gandhinagar Institute of Technology, since 2013. He has completed his MTech in computer integrated manufacturing from Nirma University and BE in mechanical engineering from North Maharashtra University. Mr. Bhatia has an expertise in advanced metal forming techniques, including uh, finite element sim simulations of sheet metal forming and additive manufacturing technology. His present research area include lean manufacturing, Six Sigma optimization techniques uh, for smooth conduction of operations in the respective domains. He's also certified in advanced in Six Sigma and lean manufacturing techniques. Mr. Bhatia has many publications under his name uh, in the areas of sheet metal forming, additive manufacturing art and artificial intelligence in mechanical engineering he has guided and uh, he has been uh, he has guided multiple projects and he has mentored multiple projects at undergraduate and postgraduate level being said this uh, without wasting much of the time i would like to request mr chandragarh patia to please illuminate us with this knowledgeful session sir please thank you thank you so much sir for your kind introduction and uh, i'm very much thankful to Parul University for inviting me for, on this expert talk that is trends in technological advancement. Today I will be discussing on the topic of lean in modern manufacturing and service industries. As we all know that we are shifting from transition of industry 4.0 and even we have partially recovered from this COVID situation. Now there is something, a nutrition type of requirement in modern manufacturing and service industries. Now what that nutrition exactly is? My topic, lean. Lean itself says that lean is a leader encouraging activity by adding the nutrition in manufacturing processes. Now in this manufacturing processes, I would like to cover the transition phase for the industry that is 4.0. In this transition phase, I will be covering from industry 1.0 to industry 4.0. What are the major changes in that and what will be the upcoming challenges? Why? Why the lean is required in this particular transition or this phase that we have partially recovered from this situation? And if we are implementing that lean process in the manufacturing and services, what will be the benefits? What will be actually the customer requirement? We will see in that detail. And what is a customer thinking? And what is a company or the owner of the company is thinking about the lean approach? If a lean approach is being introduced in one of the company or an industry, what shall be its essence? What will be the importance of that lean? Then, how to apply this lean methodology in a particular industry, whether it is a micro level, whether it is a macro level, or you can say it as a very small industry. Whenever you are applying this methodology, there are certain concepts for this implementation. What are that concepts are like uh, I, will, I will be discussing in the detail. Just concepts are like just in time, five years, then value stream mapping, value stream design, uh, and you can say it as uh, innovations implementation. Secondly, the industries who have already uh, applied for the lean manufacturing or already using this particular uh, management technique how they are influencing the customer, how the product is being pulled from the market, that we will see in the detail. And I have covered one of the small case study in this particular presentation. I will start with one of the video 
uh, that is a transition phase for the industry 4.0 how this industry has been converted from industry 1.0 to 4.0 Welcome to Festo Training and Consulting. In this video, we look at the change management challenge with Industry 4.0 and what this means for leaders of companies today and tomorrow. Let's take a brief look at the evolution of industrial production. Today, Industry 4.0 brings its own change challenges. There are five key radical changes to our environment that require a new type of leadership. It is termed Leadership 4.0. Younger and dynamic companies are constantly emerging, challenging market leaders. Leadership 4.0 means spotting and reacting quickly to new competition on the horizon. Hierarchy opposes change. The structures of today will not suit the companies of tomorrow. Leadership 4.0 means flatter structures to free up decision making and keep communication flowing. Soon, machines will be able to control their own production and logistics. Leadership 4.0 harnesses the talents of individuals to maximize on new technological advancements. In the present, we're used to being constantly connected. For the future, we have to take another giant leap. Leadership 4.0 optimizes hyperconnectivity, exploiting machinery that can make decisions without our intervention using the Internet as the communication platform. Managing change on this scale requires open and honest communication to offset fears of the future. Leadership 4.0 places transparency at the heart of any change project. Preparing for Industry 4.0 will mean the difference between an agile and a fragile organization. Leadership 4.0 supports robust and strategic planning from having a destination before the map of how to get there. From proactive planning over responding reactively. To promoting a culture of engaging with your people. To change readiness. Understanding how fit your company is for change. Leadership 4.0 knows the more we can engage everyone in change, the more likely we are to succeed. Okay, I just want to check if the screen is available again. Yes, sir, it's, it's visible. Okay, okay. So, in this particular video, what we are seeing is the transition phase from I1 to I4. Now, this transition phase was a kind of from conventional to a modern manufacturing technology. The conventional was like if I will discuss about industrial phase 1 or you can say it as a revolution 1. At that time, we were using steam and water as an energy source for running of the machineries. 
industry phase two in that we came up with the electrical uh, equipments in that case we were using uh, for running conveyor belts with the help of motors uh, it might be a different types of motors uh, can be used for a variety of the work industry 3.0 it was a uh, elevation from electrical to the electronics component where uh, minorly or you can say it as a particularly it and automation was involved while industrial phase 3.0 was going on today when it is an industry 4.0 when we are talking about industry 4.0 cyber physical systems and uh, internet of the things are being used in the today's world now as you can see from this particular picture first a robotic revolution was there a robotic revolution again there is an automation a kind of uh, programming controls that programming controls were having some sensors uh, to control its uh, motions right now the first uh, picture or the photograph is saying that we have the different lenses available to control that we can even uh, involve that particular uh, technology to just screen a particular process right now we are using some tablets or we are using the uh, smart watches where you can control the motions of the machines the fourth evolution says that right now the condition is for the development for the development in the case of technology for the development in the case of upgradation from the conventional to uh, automations as you can see the following figures are of the 3d printers 3d printers are nothing right now you might have heard about the 3d printers of fdp oh, sorry uh, it is uh, you can say it as the polymerization secondly there are sla printers there are uh, powder form metal printers now the evolution is the food printing is also been done with the help of this technology the food printing now even the 3d printer revolutions has increased for a uh, metal forming process also as in uh, it is a one of my core research area uh, i'm going to this particular printing processes where the development stage at least reach up to the sky level now for the going to the next slide i would just say that for right now situation of msme or you can say it as a, any industry the cop up is required a cop up from this a particular condition or you can say it as a revolution that is happening in india revolution like our prime minister has uh, given many flexibilities in the case of industry and even he has given a uh, financial support to msme now basic requirement over here is a small industry that have gone through the phases they need some nutrition over here a nutrition kind can be generated from the lean manufacturing processes right now the industries are being provided with the government financial supports what are that government financial supports right now the redefined level of industries are there msme previously the scale was uh, it was 25 lakhs for the micro level now it has been increased to 1 to 5 crore for the small case of industries it was below 5 crore now it is 10 to 15 crores and for the medium levels of industry it was 10 crore now it has been increased from 20 to 100 crores so this is a redefined scale for the uh, industry in the msme right now the government has provided before 6 months credit and financial scheme are being provided to them for what like 6 months moratorium or you can say it as financial schemes so that uh, the loan can be waived off or you can say it as interest rate can be cut down over there allocating the funds of funds for equity participation so the funds that are for use for the equity participation they can be allocated to all the stakeholders of the company relief in non performing asset non performing assets are the msme that have not performed during this lockdown period or you can say that during the breakdown period 
they have lived in that particular area also. What are the clearing of use? Clearing of use from the MSME that like F, uh, FMCG products, a chemical products that are not being delivered to the end customer. The relief has been given to them also in clearing of their dues. A more conductive and the transparency measures have been taken for the stakeholders like import export duty. And even you can say it as, as uh, our prime minister had said that everything is to be manufactured and service is to be given in India only. Like whether it is an electronic case, whether it is a cement case, a chemical, or you can say it as any FMCG product. It has to be manufactured in India only. So these are some of the government measures that are being given to uh, boost uh, MSME sectors, or you can say it as any industry. With that, what is the basic requirement? We stick to the nutrition part. Now this nutrition part is nothing but you can say it as it is a lean. We'll see again one small video, the failure story of his area before going to the lean manufacturing process in detail. Today, we are experiencing a strange paradox in the economy not to generate customer satisfaction. This appears everywhere, even when you go to a pizzeria. I remember about this terrible experience I had not so long ago. After ordering, I had to wait, 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 much longer than the time required to make a pizza. And when finally it arrived, oh, it was the wrong one. Ouch! It took 10 more minutes to bring the right one, and even then, it was not the best mozzarella I had in my life. It was frankly disappointing. You would think it was a cheap restaurant. No, I paid much more than I should have. I left the place unhappy. And you know what? I observed the employees of the pizzeria. Poor of them. The waiter was running and running. He was giving the most of himself, and yet customers were yelling at him. The pizzaiolo was so nervous, he ended up burning himself. They were literally fighting to keep this mess together. And I'm sure they left the place unhappy. And the owner of the place? You would expect her to be happy because of the high margin looking at the price. But look, Burned pizzas, wrong orders, and all the wasted dough. These unexpected costs reduced their margin to almost nothing. Again, she left the place unhappy. So, what's... So, in this particular story, uh, since then, already the customer demand is high due to this situation. Uh, I'm not talking about this failure story only. Uh, I'm talking about the industrial uh, process. Already the customer demand is high. Secondly, we are being failed to serve the customer as per their requirement. So right now, the challenges are for this pizza story or you can say it as uh, any other industry. Right now, the challenges are to satisfy the customer. How to satisfy the customer as we are not being able to uh, understand their requirement or their need. Then waiting time, extra waiting time is being wasted. So that has to be reduced. Secondly, the quality of a particular product or a, you can say it as service, it has been failed due to uh, overproduction or the you can say it as over processes. Fourth case, employer is not happy and finally the employee is also not happy due to which the situation may be a owner has to close the company or shut down okay now as we are moving towards the lean so what this how this lean will get uh, you can say it as uh, implemented 
in this particular industry or you can say it as a manufacturing industry what will be the impact if we are uh, applying this link to the manufacturing industry like if we approach to the lean a company owner think that for him the lean is like the resources are not being used required more than the required the resources are not being used more than the required companies think that but according to the customer the approach is different customers think that he needs some services he required some particularly cost saving he required some value product so what that value is for an example i will take the examples of two car one of the car is running at 5 km per liter and one of the car it is running at 15 km per liter the difference between these two cars will be the first one car is not providing the mileage secondly the breakdown is very high third the number of the person accommodation or the family accommodation is very low fourth it's uh, you can say it as a life cycle time is very less whereas in the case of 15 km per liter car it is as good as benefited uh, other situations also accommodation it might be a mileage it might be a flexibility it might be a smoothness of the car the customer requirement get changed at every time so you are not going to implement a new uh, you can say it as every time a 15 km car or the product at each cycle implement this particularly lean as in standardization like it is a big question mark over here because customer is not satisfied and company is company is thinking that or a company owner is thinking that my product is been sold at the highest highest cost or the brand value but actual scenario is different so what is this essence of the lean approach a lean approach says that a activity which is uh, for converting the raw material to the uh, finished good is being done by the owner of the company or the manufacturer okay and he thinks that the value for a particular customer is he is paying the more money for my product yes he will be paying the more money if one of the more added value or the surplus value will be there for a customer product using resources more efficiently and creating the most possible value for the customer will be an essence for a lean approach because customer wants a high value in the case of services in the case of product or in the case of you can say it as a manufacturer now when we are thinking about this lean approach the value of each customer will get changed value of the each customer will get changed according to their need according to the service according to the experience or according to the goods they are being provided for example if i take it as a hotel industry the service will be a major value over there if i will take it as an insurance company or you can say it as a banking sector the main value over there will be an experience you will open a open your account in the hdfc bank by due to some experience a robust system you will purchase the good that is good in the quality good uh, uh, you can say it as in the ergonomics in the flexibility you are going to buy or eat the burger whenever the value or the requirement is changing like the person who has not eaten from last two hours or he has not taken the lunch he might be thinking the need or the hunger will be different for him the value will be different for him a value that is being carried out by a uh, you can say it as a customer who is buying uh, who is going to buy the car he need everything in his car uh, a nice audio system a mileage a uh, you can say it as a technology and even the boot space these are some of the value that are being uh, generated by the customer this value is never going to stop this is uh, you can say it as uh, uncountable value and 
this get changed according to the products if the value is changing in the manufacturing and the services what is difference between that for example the uh, above one figures are for the you can say that a manufacturing values and below are for the service values now for an iphone or or you can say it as an apple phone the value is different and different is operating system they have a unique operating system over there now uh, it can't be compared with some uh, android version a family accommodation uh, a car will be a major value over there right now as you can see uh, if i will take it as an example of uh, kia uh, there are the two variants available and right now they have introduced with the uvo technology in that also so the customer requirement is getting continuously changed for the entertainment purpose we have led lcds and uh, for that the tv main requirement will be your ott applications right now a smart technology a sensor technology touch uh, uh, touch screens so this is a requirement or the value of the particular customer when you go to the service industry for example i was talking about the hotel industry the service will be how they serve you the food how the housekeeping is there this is a particularly service for you can say it as a hotel industry when you are uh, going for the flight the service will be uh, you can say it as a flexible accommodation in that uh, sitting areas in the flight or you can say it as an on the airport also the flexibility and the time consumption risk mitigation when you go for a insurance company you will buy the insurance of that company those who are giving you the long term prospect and even the cover of a particular health is more so this is the difference basically between a manufacturing in the service level and it is not going to stop here as good as as we have talk about from the industry 1.0 to industry 4.0 it is already going to upgrade in the industry 5.0 also and when this 5.0 will uh, be implemented imagine what will be the values of uh, each customer now how to create this value the myth is right now the myth is or you can say it as a company owner thinks that company owner thinks that the value that is created for the customer is 20% the value that is created for a uh, you can see this a value that is been created for the customer is 20% and the value that is actually created is 80% wastage now 80% wastage is a we have to reduce this the methodology exactly says that we are creating the value for the customer only 20% and 80% has a waste we have to reduce the size of this bin exactly so just a second i have to stop just a second is my screen available sir yes sir yes sir it is visible yeah yeah so we have to reduce the size of the bin how to reduce the size of the bin that is exactly the wastage now to reduce this wastage we have to implement some concepts of the lean now concepts of the lean before going to the concepts of the lean i will show some uh, products how the value is created now as you can see this is a one of the trolley bag what we are expecting from the trolley bag is uh, the clothes that is for the one person that can be you can say it as compacted in this trolley bag and it should be flexible it should be movable and even it should be handy so that this trolley bag can be used for a particular person or a travel uh, industry now as you can see the both photographs have a uh, some difference the trolley bag already being used has some four wheels right now the trolley bag has been upgraded 
with some you can say it as a carrying of the person system now this is a value being created in this particular bag whenever you are going or you you are passing as good as a late or you are uh, going out of the time you can slide this particular trolley bag moving with this trolley bag and when you are moving with this trolley bag it will be an advantage to reach up to a time a very simple things are there a very small objects or you can say it as a very small products are there just you have to check it how you can add the value i will show you some more products now this is one of the pizza cutter now this is nothing this is readily available in the market no problem pizza cutter is are sir are readily available in the market the basic requirement is to cut the bread of the pizza now any one of us or the manufacturer has thought about what exactly the problem is coming in this product the problem is first of all the hand situation or you can say it as a handy grip in this particular pizza cutter so what they have done is previously the product was kind of the cutter and the handle was uh, attached with it right now they have provided some extra plastic specifications over there to hold this particular cutter to hold this particular cutter it will become a flexible this is an actual problem and we have to create this value in the product secondly what they have added in this product in this product they have added one of the guard it is a plastic guard over there as the cutter is made from the stainless steel and uh, it has a very nice edge so it has to be protected how this has to be protected this protection is being given with some plastic guard so it is not being you can say it as accidentally uh, harm it will not accidentally harm to a particular customer or a user end the third value it has been added is this particular cutter can be washable it can be dis, uh, disassemble and when you are disassemble this particular product you will get a different parts and each product can be uh, each part can be uh, washed inside that this is nothing but a very simple product you have to create or you can say it as a value has been added to this product number 3 uh i just want to ask from audience can anyone think what this product is okay now this is nothing but a pet feeder a pet feeder was previously previously being available right now they are being uh, modified or you can say it as a technology being, uh, is being upgraded in this how pet feeder a small for us the pet feeder is a kind of bowl in which uh, there is any of the food is being provided and when there are two or more pets and they are of the different category like it is a cat or a dog the cat will eat the food of dog and the dog will eat the food of cat now to bifurcate this particular problem the technology has been introduced for this particular feeding system whenever the cat will touch this particular door of the cat feeder then and then only it will get open as you can see in this first figure first figure is uh, it is with the plastic cover over here when the cat will insert his mouth and then and then only it will get open if the dog will come it will not it will not be going to open so this is how the skin detection has been done with this well creation fourth case there is a product that is dusting a small or you can say it as a normal dusting is not as good as flexible the scrap or you can say it as a waste food anything can be uh, you can say it as flow in this particular dustbin and even it is in plastic cover now what the modification or the value is being added in this it can be hang on any of the doors why to hang this you have to ask the customer what is an actual requirement it can be hang it can be compressed 
it can be open expanded also for each of the uh, you can see it as uses and in the uh, this figure that is fifth one figure the wastage that is being created on the platform you can carry in that particular bag also it can also be used for the storage purpose also this is nothing but a value creation a very small products and these are readily available in the market how the value is created in this fifth product it is nothing but a bottle opener now how many qualities over here or the value are being added in, in this product it is a bottle a normal bottle opener okay and the bottle opener will also act for a tin opener it will act for each and every size of the bottle opener or you can say it as a cap of the bottle and it can be used for the normal bottle openers also like as good as we are using in the soda bottles so the value added is one of the more value in this is particularly it is a handy and it can be stored at each and every place and as you can see the the flow or the flexibility or the mechanism of this particular product is device like this way can each and every can understand this particular product value creation product that is six now this is nothing but a card casing card casing every time we are using the normal wallet uh, there are some slots in the wallet to keep some card a smart card so you can say it as your uh, debit cards or credit cards and even our uh, identity proofs for that the casing is been provided the casing has some technology over here there are some uh, switch buttons provided over here the atm like if i take it as an example of atm you put your atm in that slot and press this atm button it will move the card of your particular atm only if you are going to use the visa button it will move or you can say it as spring out your card of visa only secondly on the back side of this particular casing the storage for your money is also provided so this is a very a kind of smart product this is a value creation in actual product product 7 it is nothing but a wrench for uh, opening purpose of uh, anything uh, it might be a screw it might be a uh, you can say it as any fastener assembly over there what we have provided it is very simple product and we have added uh, one of an assembly over there and that assembly is nothing but it will act as an spanner over there it will act as a spanner over there now how this spanner will be working and what is a particular requirement the space availability where it is less it can be used over there like in the case of car bona where the space is not available uh, we are using some different spanner and anyhow we are opening that casing now over there with this particular wrench you are providing the sp uh, spanner fastener over there and you can easily move this particular uh, device a very interesting product over here a small bag a small bag is over here a small bag has many features many values over here a small bag contains each and every daily products it might be a water bottle it might be a laptop or it might be anything else and when it is in the ideal condition you can use it for a kid sleeping area you can use it for a kid sleeping area and it is more comfortable in this particular uh, fabric and even the front uh, chains that are being provided or the uh, back sockets are being provided they are covering the many things or they are uh, accommodating the many things it might be a water bottle it might be a milk for a, a small kid it might be uh, anything food storage it might be your uh, stationery it might be your pen drives so many things are accommodated in small this product and when it, it is in a ideal condition this is a value generation of this product value generation in this particular light product as you are seeing this product 
Now this is nothing. This is a kind of technology. As you can see, when it is in the charging position, it gets compressed, it is compacted, and you can see it as it accumulates very less space. When it has been lighted, it can be decorated at every place in any shape. The major requirement, or you can say it as a major value generation, is an any shape. As you can see, it can be converted into parabola, it can be converted into circle, it can be, you can say it as converted into any shape. Secondly, the value addition over here is this can be particularly hanged at any chimney, or you can say it as a upside wall where the requirement of the light is. The final value generation over here is it can also be hanged at some position also. So these, these are a kind of products that are, uh, you can say it as readily available in market, but so many things can be added in this. A very smart technology over here. The smart technology is this switchboard is operated with some mobile or the, you can say it as a Bluetooth uh, device. Over here, there is a small knob that knob will be operated for on off switch or the press buttons it might be your television set it might be a tea or coffee maker it might be any of the switch uh, it might be you can say it as your pressing situation any of the pressing situation but this is a very simple product just the technology is being updated over it now right now when we are talking about the lean implementation as we have seen how the value is being created, the lean implementation is nothing but the creation of value. How this value is being created. Uh, I just want to confirm whether I am audible or not. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. So, as we have seen some of the products, and uh, it is as good as implementing in any phase, or you can say it as in any stage, or you can say it as a different categories of the uh, manufacturing systems or services. There are unlimited possibility of implementing the lean. Now, these unlimited possibility are what? It might be a strategy or planning of uh, implementation phase, or you can say it as uh, whenever a company is going to install a new thing or the new machinery. Then the strategy is to be designed, lean has to be implemented over there also. Secondly, if you are working in the competitive world and if your product is not a monopoly purpose, you can also implement the lean for uh, you can say it as to rank over or you can say it as a benchmark to create the benchmark of a product lean can be implemented in the uh, competition area also whenever you are going for any research or the you can say it as a different product for which a upgrade uh, upgradation is required but the technology has to be implemented in that that is called a vision system how you are seeing your product like as good as we have seen some of the products it might be a bag, it might be that uh, decorative light, okay? The customer requirement is getting changes and the owner or the manufacturer of the company, that particular light or the bag has to be think two times more than the customer. Then and then only your product will be visible or sold in the market. Then there is leadership qualities. Whenever there is a mismatch or the haphazard system in the particular company, the leadership implementation, or you can see it as a basis of the particular company, can be decided or by implementing the lean. If you have to work on the particular cost area, if you have to work on a particular material optimization, you have to work on the labor optimization, 
as there are many costs we will see in the details over here. Okay, and you to reduce this particular cost, you can implement the lien. So, how the lien can be implemented in current trends? As uh, we all are aware about that for our forefathers or during the industrial evolution of 1.0 or 2.0. At a 2.0 stage, the welder was welding, the smithy shop was, uh, the owner of the smithy shop was doing the product of the smith, carpenter was uh, doing the carpentry uh, and all such which is hand purpose or you can say it as semi-automatic machines. Then uh, at that time, you can see it as during the industrial evolution of 2.0. At that time, the process was as good as a manual process. When we are working with the electrical systems, the motor was running and motor was used to being cut for the any of the material or the you can say it as carpentry or the fabric, anything else. At that time also, the process was there. Cutting process was there. Now, in that cutting processes, the evolution came is a computer mind or you can say it as a computer state where the equipments were already available with you. The computer was added for a flexibility or you can say it as storage purpose for different data. Material was already available with you. Logistics become flexible. Logistic become flexible, that is transportations and all such become the flexible state as we have seen in the uh, this best example I will give you as uh, it is an Amazon. Software was were at the initial stage, tools and standard were also being used. Now, that particular knowledge or you can say it as a capability or the resources were there. Product development life cycle was increasing day by day and right now it is at the higher stage or you can say it as at a peak stage where day by day the requirement of customer is getting changes so you have to upgrade yourself you have to upgrade your manufacturing industry you have to upgrade your standards okay the development cycle is going day by day at an increasing rate now this both has to be combined in the knowledge box or you can say it as a knowledge bin now this combined strategy is or you can say it as it can be utilized for a customer feedback or a requirement by an end user secondly it can be for the task dispatching for example these resources that are being available with us that is manufacturing resources and capability it might be a material labor computer your equipments anything you put it I'm not saying that you put the working conditions on the cloud. You put some resources on your cloud. The customer will demand it according to the requirement and you can modify over here. So this is what the current trend is. As good as your uh, this Amazon or the online sellers. What Amazon is seeing like if you will, uh, you are going to buy some anything, a technological, for example, I am buying for the AC. You search for a one particular product of the AC or you can say uh, search for the one particular brand. It will show a number of options over there. If you are filtering it, you will get a particular brand, for example, LG. And when you are done with your LG product, there are the listed of number of other items or the brands available in the AC. As we have selected one of the product, like uh, one of my uh, 1.5 ton AC is around, uh, you can say it as 33,000. You will get a similar products of the 33,000 at the below. Now this is nothing but my resources are available and I have shifted it on a particular cloud, a manufacturing cloud. Okay, so these are a kind of internet things we have seen in the video. How? the concepts of the lean implementation can be done, how this technology or how this implement can be done to develop such a product that creates the value. Change for the better. Always think for the better purpose or the better value of the customer. Don't uh, 
you can say it as increase that area of the bin or the size of that bin that is wastage bin 80% bin has to be reduced by 20% and 20% has to be increased by 80% that is an actual requirement kaizen kaizen says that the improvement is very essential like over here as you can say there is a small product like it is in shoes now what improvement can be done over here kaizen is a continuous implement process or continuous improvement process in the system already the system is going on as good as if you are uh, if you are an owner of you can say it as uh, any branded or the monopoly business there also a continuous improvement is required but that continuous improvement is what a kaizen what a continuous improvement is, this particular product can be done is if you attach the wheel to this particular product it will become getting shoes now gamba says that it is a disability of higher authority or the manager to look out this product in an another way for example i am a particular you can say it as an engineer or the design engineer who is suggesting to put this wheels on this particular uh, shoes my manager and the higher authority will think about this how this value will be created and this has to be implemented in the continuation process this is what lean concept says or the lean principle says third case that is jidoka jidoka is nothing but a japanese word that has been implemented by the toyota system or uh, you can say it as an automobile industry they are saying nothing to implement the technology it might be a gadgets like for example if i will take very basic example a vernier vernier previously we are uh, using the vernier vernier caliber for measuring anything right now the digital technology is available for the ease of the flexibility for measuring even upgradation is uh, computers are available they will move that gauge and that gauge will give, give you the exact length upgrade that technology right now sensors are being used about that touch screens are being used it might be a without touch screen also okay so we have to upgrade that any of the machinery or the mechanism the already been installed in the manufacturing system when you stream mapping break your system into the different stages not exactly the breaking but yes for the analysis breaking when you stream mapping says that break your uh, system in the different stages so that the analysis can be done in particular stage how this value stream mapping will be done it will uh, calculate or analyze how much product time is required or a particular product requires how much time for to manufacture to manufacture this product can anything be altered can anything material can be altered or the machinery can be altered or you can say it as a worker or the labor can be altered you have to design accordingly design that product and if you are going to design that product value stream mapping and value stream design will go uh, you can say it as parallelly to implement this concept uh, you have to first think about which area you have to select on which particular area you have to focus whether it is in cost reduction it is in value added or you can say it as a design changes six sigma implementation it will give you a quality of your product six sigma says that there are some statistical tools or you can say it as some major analysis theories which will give you a detail about your product whether they are liable according to the standard or they are rejected or they are in the acceptable conditions six sigma has a different case and uh, it is uh, you can say it as a one of the course there are the uh, different bells for that six sigma also which will give you the quality products all the standardized automobile industries or you can say it as uh, fmcg industries or the chemical base industry right now if uh, i am ready to put any value or the any money 
for any of the car first i will like to buy or purchase bmw or an audi the six sigma give the particular value whether your audi is liable to be sold in the market or not just in time this will this will be giving you the flexibility to both whether it is a customer or whether it is a company owner a company owner says that for me time is a kind of whenever i am buying the uh, raw material it should be in the inventory purposes for the customer just in time is to get that product that is and deliver product or the ready product in a particular time what that just in time will be we will be seeing in the detail these are the seven types of wastages if you are going to reduce this wastages the lean will be automatically implemented in your company or the uh, you can say it as a services but that seven wastages are nothing it is an over production over processes there is a motion there is a transportation inventory defects dating as we have seen in the pizza story all these are highlighted over here over processing the pizza was being burnt as because of over processing and the scheduled order were not been taken over production due to the over production uh, that dough was being wasted the raw material was being wasted transportation the waiters were moving here and there okay for the orders and uh, they were not actually implementing the orders at the right time motions the motion was being wasted by the even the employee or you can say it as an employer for getting the order inventory inventory of the if your inventory of the raw material will be many the company will be a uh, end user loss and it has to be shut down defects customer is not satisfied with your products defects are there errors are there not according to the tolerance or the limits and not according to the standards waiting time waiting time of the customer this is one of the you can say it as a major value today if you are going for any shop or any food uh, you can say it as a hotel or even on the road side lorries what you required is waiting time should be less your hunger should be fulfilled so this has to be reduced what is six sigma now i will elaborate some concepts in the detail six sigma is nothing but uh, uh, depending on the strategy that is uh, d map it is called as d map you have to solve this puzzle to achieve the six sigma this puzzle is nothing d stands for define map that is m m stands for measure a stands for analysis i stands for improve and c stands for control d define you have to define in which area or the which project you have to select that the improvement is required continuous improvement is required as good as it was uh, introduced in the uh, motorola company by the american engineer that is bill smith and then it was made centrally as a business strategy in the general electric in 1995 you to define any of the area or the product where a actual uh, significance upgradation is required for that defining leadership is required there are the different teams that different teams will be doing the brainstorming and in that brainstorming you will find out the different areas whether they are bad ideas or good ideas brainstorming is all about that and you have to sort out what are a good areas and that is what it is called as prioritization second there is a measure measure actual product what is in uh, length whether it is in the tolerance for example you are uh, going for any of the survey in the market measure that how many customers are uh, you can say they are satisfied with this particular product and how many customers are satisfied with this particular range measure that in that measure there is also there are some uh, you can say it as theories for that like box type tools and all such stuff analyze analyze the part you have measured how you will analyze that part 
there are some charts, range charts. There are quartile charts, hypothesis, uh, hypothesis. Hypothesis will give you the ex exact requirement of rejections and acceptance. And when you analyze this particular uh, area or the product, you are going on the improvement phase. For the improvement phase, if say there are the two products A and B, and that A and B is to be selected according to the Six Sigma criteria. So for which uh, A is selected and for which B is selected, you have to give that criteria to that. Whether it is in standard, whether it is in flexibility, whether it is in cost, you have to give that particular variable. And finally, it is in control. When all these four stages are being done, control stage is a major impact uh, on this Six Sigma. Control is this particular cycle has to be throughout from uh, days of the company uh, that is it might be a worker or the sweeper to end of the company that is of uh, you can say that planetary labor control has to be done everything has to be in the books everything the reading has to be on the machines or whether it is on the computer systems there are the some six sigma recognition basis that is, uh, CEO and other members will look after the executive leadership areas where the responsibility will be, vision will be only a Six Sigma. There are the champions who are going to implement actually the Six Sigma strategy in the company. Then there are the master black belts who will devote their 100 time, 100% uh, of their time to the Six Sigma implementation. There are the black belts also. They are applying this Six Sigma actually the methodology. Master black, master black belts will look after that how the uh, black belts are applying this strategy and green belts green belts will be actually on the soft floor or the job responsibility to find out whether the Six Sigma has been implemented in the right way or not so this is a hierarchy kind of thing hierarchy is executive will look after the champions champions will be look after master belt Master black belts will look after black belts and green belts. How to reduce this wastage? And as we have talked about this wastage, I will not go over this particular seven wastages again. If you are reducing this wastage, what will be the impact on your industry or a company? It will reduce the cost of the raw material. It, is, it can reduce the cost of the product, which is an and use the requirement of the customer, it can reduce the time of your process, that is over processing, it can be reduced. Your product will be uh, a monopoly or you can say it as a product will be a full system kind of thing. You don't have to push all the products. The quality will be improved as you are implementing the standardization in your uh, industry. The results you are going to achieve will be at the higher mark. All these, you can say it as a branded companies who have implemented this. I will give you the example of uh, OnePlus phone. Now, might be a Chinese quality, no problem, but it has some different features as good as your Android phone also. Just a second. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, due to the time constraint, I have to uh, end this particular session in few minutes. Uh, just I will implement, uh, or you can say there's the industry who have implemented this lean. IKEA, they have implemented this lean for the design to cost, cost problem. That is a ladder, for example, I have taken the ladder in this, uh, design over here. How they reduce their cost? by the material optimization and even this ladder can be uh, used for or you can say there's a flexibility will be achieved in the logistic purpose secondly a lean influence on the industry like an apple steve, steve jobs thought that 
there are so many variety of the uh, you can say there's a computers and all such stuff let us reduce to the uh, one product that has a monopoly or you can say it has a different operating system so it has reduced almost minus uh, 70% reduction has been done by the industry apple industry rainer this is a particular uh, aircraft industry that is being used in the europe they have achieved the lean by flexibility and the complex system they are continuously using one type of flight only which can accommodate their uh, luggage and even flexible for the operating operators also a very good example we all are being uh, gone through this particular food industry that is mcd there is a large book over here a cook or a manual over there there are different processes of this uh, burger is being uh, stated but as good as whenever you go to any of the mcd any of the mcd uh, you can say this stall uh, the size of the burger remains the same and even due to this standardization the economist has posted there uh, this example for any of the industrialization problem i have one uh, little uh, a small case study i will complete it in a few minutes there's an electrical company uh, it has some problem like sla problem that is service level agreement is not uh, being according to the standard and the problem statement says that the percentage error should be 2% and it has been increased to the 13% how to cope up with this situation so to cope up with this situation they have selected one of the areas in the north zone in india and they have implemented some you can say it as uh, deadlines or the boundaries like identifying the problem will be the one number and identifying the root cause and similarly the deadlines are being covered who will charter this problem sponsors champion and team how to identify this root cause the root cause is there are two main root causes that is environment and the people environment is reading is difficult in the slum areas and reading issues during the rainy season and people that are not been trained and there is a less stuff this is a two identity uh, root causes we are make it on the prioritized chart and we have find out around 47% the failure occurs due to the incorrect billing address and due to the wrong meter reading and when you are identifying the root causes the failure occurs due to the uh, incorrect billing was not targeted according to the accuracy accuracy and careless mistakes were being made by the uh, you can say this a bill or the worker wrong meter reading because field staff was not being trained and the root cause was no training module was there the solutions are for set billing target team member of the target should reach at accordingly uh, time and create the training plan for each and every uh, particular worker or the person those who are going to implement this these are some of the references thank you thank you for your patience listening any questions from your side the platform is open now thank you sir thank you so much thank you so much thank, thank you, you so much for this wonderful session and uh, we are really uh, happy to have you over here and yes uh, one thing i would like to add is i will surely apply these lean methodologies to academics also to provide value to our uh, students thank you so sir yes we have some of the queries i'll start with the first question that i have received from professor prashant tomar he is yes. assistant professor in parl institute of technology this question is what is the similarity between industry 4.0 and lean manufacturing or lean systems okay so lean is already been impl uh, implemented by some of the companies but the technology application is not over there like if you see the uh, particular industry of the small scale industry in the uh, area uh, amna area or baroda they don't want to implement the software for the designing or the analysis so this is a shift that is 4.0 is saying that the software or the analysis part is required whereas they have to uh, implement that conventional process only so this gap is to be filled by the lean okay fine okay thank you sir so now we have some of other uh, persons over here i'd like to call professor mehul padia he is in mechanical department or institute of engineering technology diploma studies sir please if you have any question please okay hello sir good afternoon yes sir yes sir good afternoon 
I am Mehul Padia from Ikri Civil Engineering Department. Sir, sir my question is, is say that can we use lean manufacturing system in a yes? Can we use lean manufacturing systematically in small industries? Yes, sir. Obvious. The small industries are uh, yes, sir. Can we early, sir? Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. I can hear you, sir. Yes, because small industries are on the path of development. Right now, as the government has provided the financial uh, support, but how a particular technique has to be implemented, that is being, uh, they are not being aware about this particular technique. And even the wastages I have covered, that is seven type of wastages, if they are going to implement on that sector only, or that stage only, Definitely, the lean will be achieved over there. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, sir. Sir, we also sir. have Professor Ankit uh, Vaishnani. Okay. Uh, uh, from Palur Polytechnic Institute, Mechanical Engineering Department. Sir, please, if you would like to ask anything. Okay, thank you, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. I have one question from the students group. Okay. Which are the prime requirement for any industry to adopt lean manufacturing technique? Which are the primary requirement? The primary requirement will be the your product development. If you want to okay. develop the product. Secondly, if you are at the initial state or the startup also, uh, you can implement the lean. Third case, if you want to reduce the waste. Then you can implement the lean. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, fine. So, sir, with that, I guess we will conclude this chapter. Uh, I would like to thank you, sir, on behalf of whole technical event cell of Paris University. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And I would also like to thank the audience for their patience and interest in the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, for providing this opportunity to talk on this latest adva uh, advanced technological trend. And thank you to the committee members of organizing this particular event. Thank you. Uh, please try to share the uh, this particular video of the session. Yes, sir. We will surely share it uh, over there. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. For, for all the audience, I would like to uh, in, like inform you that the lecture series is still going on. We still have three sessions left. Uh, so stay tuned and visit PU webinar to continue with the lecture series. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.